channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Have you ever wondered why things move and stop? Or how a ball flies in the air and falls back? All of these are related to one of the fundamental law of physics, which is Newton's second law of motion. You might have heard it before, but in today's video, we will dive deeper into the concept and see how it explains the motion of an object. We will use a virtual lab to explain this concept more clearer. What is Newton's second law of motion? Newton's second law of motion states that the force applied to an object is directly proportional to the mass of the object and the acceleration produced. In other words, if you apply more force to an object, it will accelerate more. Directly proportional means if one quantity is increasing, second will also increase. And if the mass of an object is greater, it will require more force to accelerate it. The formula for Newton's second law of motion is here on your screen. F is equal to ma where F represent the force, M represent the mass, and A represent the acceleration. Remember students, here F and A both are vector quantities, the force and acceleration, because they required a specific direction to explain, where mass is a scalar quantity. Let's talk about the application of second law of motion. The second law of motion can be applied to real life scenarios. For example, when a car accelerates, the engine produces a force that pushes the car forward. The amount of force needed depends on the mass of the car and the desired acceleration. Similarly, when a weightlifter lifts a heavy weight, they must apply a large force to overcome the weight's mass and produce the desired acceleration. Let's perform a virtual lab to understand the second law of motion. So you can see here I have two identical trucks. They have different masses. Let me make it equalize first. You can see here that I have placed a pulley with the same masses for the trucks. The trucks are identical in terms of masses. Let's try and see what happened. You can see here the acceleration is same for both because the force is remains same for both the trucks. They take the same time to reach the destination. What if I increased amount of force in one truck? Let me go closer. I'm going to increase some mass here. Let me increase some mass. Now it is more loaded as compared to the yellow truck. You can see here is still the pulley weight is same for me and let's start and see what happen if both trucks with different masses will accelerate. You can see they started moving. You can see here the lighter the truck is moving more faster because it is required less force to accelerate. Whereas the heavier trucks take more time to reach the same destination. Look at the time. This clearly shows that the force applied is directly proportional to acceleration. Let's try one more experiment by changing the pulley weight. Now I'm going to make both trucks identical. Let me remove the mass from here. So I removed one. So only now the both trucks are identical and let me try to change the pulley mass. So I'm going to increase the mass here. Let me increase. You can see here now I have increased uh, the red truck mass and let's see what is the result. You can see that now the red truck is coming very fast because the more force is now creating a more acceleration as compared to yellow truck which take a lot of time to reach because the force in the pulley was very less. If I go for a conclusion so I can say the Newton second law of motion is F is equal to MA. As you can see here it's a simple but powerful concept that explain much of what we see in the world around us. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.